So I debated whether or not I was going to make this video. And originally the answer was no. But last night, overnight, they did something reprehensible to Warzone. And it needs to be put out there. And I had many problems with Warzone in the past week. Mainly because of the update that came out this week. And I wanted to talk about it. And to be quite honest, if you're watching this video, first of all, thank you. Hope you enjoy. But it's not for you. This video is for Activision and it is for Raven. Because I want them to know what the community currently thinks about Warzone. Because I don't know if they just don't have their finger on the pulse the same way someone who makes videos every day does. I don't know if they read comments on videos. I don't know if they look at people's Twitch streams and see what people are saying. But I think they're missing the point in a lot of areas. And I wanted to make a very simple, straightforward, not aggressive video. Just saying what the community is currently thinking and why. And what I love about this is if you guys disagree with me, which is completely fine, write down in the comments how you guys feel about it and if any developers of the game are watching this just read the comments this is my opinion i think a lot of people are going to agree based off the comments i read but also check out the comments because the community is important with this one and if you guys enjoy and like what i have to say feel free to send it over to raven tweet it at them tweet it at activision i'm, I'm completely fine with that that's okay now, why am I making this video? So yesterday, a new game mode called Mogulog More Problems was added into the game. And essentially, it's the gameplay that you're watching here. But if you don't know what this is, is first of all, it's been in the game files for over a year. Since last April, this was in the game files. Never added throughout the entire game. Was implemented on April Fool's yesterday. As a joke, I guess. But this is the best playlist that has ever been in Warzone. If you didn't get to play it, I apologize. Because today it has been removed for some reason. Why they didn't keep it for the weekend, I don't know. But this playlist was awesome. Basically, the way that it works is if you die in game, you can be brought back by the gulag just like normal but if you win your gulag and then die again you get another chance in the gulag and another chance in the gulag so as long as you don't lose in the gulag you get to keep coming back and what this does is it brings the good players it rises them to the top because the better player you are the more likely you are to win in the gulag whereas in the normal verdansk there's a little bit more rng if someone's sitting in a better building you, you might die even if you're a better player but in the gulag it's a 1v1. Yeah, there's some cheese there as well, depending, like if you get fists, for example. But for the most part, the better player wins. And because of this, the games last longer, there's more kills, it's more chaotic, in my opinion, more fun. But today, I wake up, let's go play some more, and it's gone. And I don't get why. Why? Like, I know you wanted it as an April Fool's joke, but it's the best game you've ever had. So why remove it on the weekend, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where most people play Call of Duty? And I'm guessing most of the people who are watching this didn't get to play the mode, which I apologize for, because like I said, it was my favorite mode. My second favorite mode is Buyback. Buyback, or as it used to be called, Stimulus, is an awesome game mode, again, because it's more chaotic, crazy, but they only put that game mode in once every month, maybe, like at the most. And I don't understand why. I think. If there's a reason for it, like if they don't have the servers for it or some reason, just tell us, just, just be open with us, it's fine. And then maybe we can have a response and have a conversation about it, but you don't do that. So in my eyes, you just don't want me to have fun. That That's what it looks like to me. Now, there's another part to that not enough fun that we're going to dive into in a minute, but I first wanted to dive into the second part of this, which I don't think that they understood was the update. The update that came out this week was 50 gigabytes, or if you had Modern Warfare installed, 133 gigabytes for Modern Warfare and Warzone. A huge update, but potentially the biggest one we've ever had or close to it. And when someone sees that, when you see a big number like that, and we haven't really had a big update since the launch of season two, you immediately go, okay, we're getting a new location on the map. You, you start speculating and maybe that's the wrong thing to do, but everyone is going to do it because they want to see new stuff in the game. They want to see things updated. They want to see the meta and the weapons updated, which don't worry, we're going to talk about. But the update comes out. And yes, some new things are added in, like you can get into a game and some rockets will be shooting throughout the sky. Thursday, zombies moved, but that was happening every week anyway. And then all of a sudden, the only thing in the patch notes is a recoil nerf to the AUG, which didn't 
really nerf the, the recoil is still fine and that wasn't the problem with the weapon in the first place and as far as i'm aware people who are working at activision and raven didn't understand why people were upset about this all right so i'm editing this and i want to add something in here i have a feeling that the developers of the game and players of the game look at updates in two different ways the developers look at it as work and making the game overall better or run more stable they don't care how big it is or anything like that whereas a player of the game looks at it as new content all the time this has to be something new to make the game better for me the developers need to hear how the players think of it. So here's an analogy. Let me make this simple. If you wake up on Christmas morning and you go to the Christmas tree and there's no presents, you're upset. But then you look at the front door and you see in the driveway that there is wrapping paper shaped like a car. You're all fired up. You think you're getting a car for Christmas, but then you go and unwrap it. And it's just a bunch of boxes shaped into a car with nothing inside it, you're going to be more upset about that than you would be about getting nothing for Christmas in the first place. And that was this update in a nutshell. People got their hopes up for this big update because it's 50 gigs. And yeah, I know you were using it to optimize the game. But then when they see what's inside, even though there's a little bit there, overall, people are going to be more upset about it than not having an update whatsoever. That is essentially what happened. And the meta is a separate problem altogether, which is what really I think people want it fixed. Um, right now, the powerful weapons are the AUG and the FFAR. Really, those are the top two. Uh, the FFAR is just better than all of the SMGs as an assault rifle, and the AUG is better than sniper rifles at long range. Um, and it has no damage drop off, very little recoil. But the recoil is not the problem, and that's why it was so weird that they fixed that. The damage drop-off and the overall damage is the problem, and you can nerf the fire rate, you can nerf the damage drop-off, and they didn't do any of that. So, this leaves us in an area where clearly people want to see changes in the game, and that is why they're frustrated with that update. So, let me give you some examples of changes that I think need to happen. Number one, Rose. The Rose skin is a huge problem, and... I don't know how Activision doesn't see it as a bigger problem because right now, if you go into Game of Warzone, 99% of people are going to be using the Rose skin, which means that the people who are just playing Warzone aren't going to be buying other skins because there's no reason to. Because when you use the Rose skin or any other dark skin, people aren't going to be able to see you in game, which means you have an advantage. Therefore, there's no reason to buy any new skins. Activ Activision, you're you're literally losing money by this. I understand there might be a problem there with legal with removing a skin. So the simple explanation is just put a little light on every character's shoulder or a band around their chest that's colored. Therefore, you can see all of the characters. Um, I think that's pretty simple. Yeah, maybe it needs an update, but it shouldn't need 50 gigabytes, I wouldn't think. Um, so there's one thing. The second thing is recons. I really don't like recons. Um, maybe that's not every person. Again, you can write down in the comments. Recons show you where the zone ends, and a lot of people, the way that they play the game is they just do like four or five recons, see where the end zone is, go sit in a building, camp there, you finish with like four kills, but you win every game. And I know a lot of people who stream actually do this, and that's why I say you might not be on the same page as me. Uh, but to me, it's incredibly boring, and it's hard to counter because of Ghost, right? Like if, if Ghost wasn't there, you could just call in UAVs, see where they are, and then go have an actual fight but because ghost is there you can call in an advanced uav all top level players are probably using ghost which i actually don't use because i just hate it so much and you you can't see them even on an advanced uav so you get kind of screwed because you go oh there's no one here i called it an advanced uav we're good but no they're they're sitting in a building in the final zone and you don't know where they are so the obvious solution to that one is make ghost either take ghost out that would be my first favorite solution or make it so that ghost only works when you're moving like in other call of duty games now i don't think they're going to do either of those things and this brings me to my next problem doing nothing so i feel bad saying this because again this is for the developers the game hasn't changed enough since launch 
in general, Warzone is the exact same game it was at launch. Yes, there have been changes. There's been meta changes, and those have been the big changes, and I actually like the meta changes. Let me say that before I dog too hard. People complain about there being a meta in Call of Duty. There's always going to be a meta. There's always going to be those four best weapons that everyone uses. Always, no matter what, people will find them. People like me who make videos find them. Trust me, there's always going to be that. You're never going to fix that problem. But when you don't switch up that meta enough, that's when people get frustrated. Because if you get killed a hundred, a thousand times with the same two weapons like the AUG and the FFAR over and over again, you're just going to be like, I'm done with this. This is just boring. It's the same thing every single time. So I think the meta needs to be shifted up a little bit more often, at least every beginning of season and mid season, at least basically every month. Uh, so that's, that's, that's one thing. But if you actually look at Warzone as a whole since launch, not much has changed. They added most wanted contracts and that changes up the gameplay a little bit, but overall the map is the same. They, they opened up stadium and they added a boat by prison. The geology and topography of areas on the map has not changed. Um, overall, it's the same map that we have been playing since the very beginning and nothing has really been implemented to really change up the gameplay. I hate to compare Warzone to Fortnite because I don't enjoy Fortnite. But what Fortnite does well is changing up their meta with not just their weapons, but individual items in game that do things. They've done this for years. And on top of that, they change up their map, which seems like every couple weeks. And Call of Duty hasn't done that in a year. And I hate to see that because I love Warzone. And I don't know if that's because they don't have enough people working on the game. I don't know if it's because they're scared of making changes. And let me address that first, because with Warzone, I think it's okay to implement a big change that changes up the gameplay and have it suck because you can always go back to what it was before. What's worse than that is doing nothing at all and expecting pl the player base to stay. Because yes, I get that you're doing things to like change locations. Like you added the subway. Well, guess what? The subway's gone now. You opened up um, stadium and yeah, that that's probably the change or map change that have changed the game the most, but still, it's still the same location in the same area. And this outer area is exactly the same because the garage is gone. Now there needs to be more changes big time, like not just by a little bit, by a lot. And maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe people like playing the same thing over and over again. I do for a set amount of time and then I just get really bored of it. So those are my thoughts. A little bit more of a somber video, less editing. But I wanted to get this out there and I wanted you guys to have a spot to relay your opinions and hopefully some developers see this. And if you do, I'm, I'm really not trying to shit on the game. I'm just trying to throw out some ideas and show you guys what the community actually thinks. Um, too much catering to bad players, not enough changes in general. The meta needs to shift more frequently. And finally, when people see something big, a big update, they expect changes. And when there's nothing, of course, people are going to get mad. That's it. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, do the channel, hit the subscribe button, all that good jazz. Hopefully, hopefully you liked it. Maybe you disagree with everything I said. And if you did, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this to us.